very swoopy, floopy, floppy hair today. I've got, I've got no product in it and it needs me a haircut. So um, as I threatened to do in a TMI video a couple of weeks ago, my big emotional, my big emotional TMI video, I, um, I pulled the trigger. Uh, we're going to do the, uh, the script reading on Halloween night. I am excited about it. Mostly because I think it's just going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to be doing it with some people that I don't get a chance to hang out with very often. So that's going to be fun. Uh, but I've got just one of, one of the team members that, that edits for me is going to be uh, doing a, a, a part. I'm going to be narrating. Um, there's another YouTuber. Um, I will save that for later, but there's another YouTuber. It's going to be reading the main part. Uh, and we've, uh, we've done a couple things together. There's somebody who was in my original film, from way back when called oceanfront property uh she's gonna be there and she's awesome um anyway so it, it's gonna be fun hanging out and kind of doing that with people uh i am also simultaneously <laughs> uh a little terrified um terrified is a strong word terrified is a strong word i am nervous I got a little anxiety. I'm a little bit nervous about it because I've never really done this on the channel before. Even back when the channel was small, I streamed my old movie on there, which by the way is now like the only way that anybody can see it. I'm trying to just kind of be like, look, if, if people want to watch it, then they'll, they'll check in and they'll watch it and that's fine. And if they don't want to watch it, then they can go watch something else, you know? Um, and that's basically how I, how I put it on Twitter when I announced it on there. It's like, look, if this sounds fun, come join us. If not, Go watch something else. In terms of like how I'm worried that people might receive the script itself, it's like that much. <laughs> of course, I don't want people to be like, oh my God, he wrote this, this is terrible. But at the same time, I wrote this literally like 15 years ago. I I'm gonna make fun of it. I'm gonna make fun of some of the lines. There there's some there's some definitely some cheesy parts, but um, but there's some stuff I like about it too. And, and I'll point that out as well. I'm, I'm describing it as a horror-ish movie. It's, it's a ghost story. And it's based off of, I'm going to say, a real ghost story. And by that, I don't mean that it is a true story necessarily, but it's sort of like a, a, a piece of local lore. But it's, it's this classic ghost story. Um, the first, let's say, 30 minutes of it is going to be extremely familiar for anybody who's into ghost stories because it's, it's a classic uh, tale that's been told a million times. Um, but I took interest in what what would happen after this story, you know, like what happens to the main guy in the story after he finds out that this girl is a ghost, um, and and that's kind of where my imagination took the rest of this uh, the rest of this story. So I've said before that the screenplays that I write are the ones that I tend to gravitate toward. Um, I call them chick flicks for guys. Um, my my film Oceanfront Property was definitely a chick flick for guys. It, it was about a guy who got jilted at the altar. And then a year later he goes to a beach house to try to kind of get over this relationship. And the girl who jilted him shows up with her new husband. And it's like, what would you do if you were stranded on a desert Island with the girl who crushed your heart? Right. Um, and there's comedy and there's, there's drama in that as well. So, um, this falls into that category. So I'm calling it horror ish. Cause it's not like saw it's not like, there's no gross outs. It's not a horror flick like Friday the 13th. There's no teenagers having sex in a campsite that get chopped to bits. You know, it's, it's nothing like that. Um, it's, it's kind of about a guy who falls in love with a ghost. I don't want to spoil too much of it, so I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. I took a lot of um, inspiration from the movie The Frighteners, which goes back a bit. It's got Michael J. Fox in it. Uh, it was Peter Jackson. Uh, directed that before all the Lord of the Rings stuff. So it was one of his movies. It's actually a pretty great movie. I actually watched it the other day, but it's fun. It's a fun little horror, campy, fun thing. Um, and and I, I took a little bit from that, I guess. So yeah, I mentioned the the old movie earlier, the Oceanfront Property movie. One, one, of the, one of the things that's always bugged me is that when I shot it, high def was a thing. 1080p video was a thing, but it was it was still... I had no money to make this movie with and I couldn't afford to, to like rent uh, an HD camera like this. This really dates it quite a bit, but what really dates it is the fact that it's literally it's, it's in 360 P it's actually smaller than standard def because I, I put, um, uh, letter boxes across the top. I wanted the 16 by nine widescreen. So that actually removed a little bit of, of the space from it. Um, so it's a tiny little postage stamp size video. If I pulled it up on my computer, um, but I've seen some of these, um, these AI driven upscaling 
videos where they take like video for or, or film from you know 1911 that was shot at maybe like five frames a second of people walking around New York and they use this neural net AI algorithm thing and they they scale it up to 4K with um, you know 4K 60p and it's it's like astounding looking it looks amazing um, I'm considering maybe doing that to the old movie not because I want to like keep going back to that movie or anything but it's just it's so like it's it's just such a small format now uh that uh, you know if, if anybody ever did really want to watch it i used to have it on amazon uh and that was actually a, a total accident and i think i know what happened but um there was a company called cd baby back in the day and it was one of these things where like i could either make all the dvds of this movie myself and try to sell them myself or i could just upload it to this site called cd baby and they would sell the dvds themselves again this this goes way back well at some point cd baby was bought by amazon and all of their content wound up on amazon including my movie like i just one day looked on there i was like oh there it is it, i had no idea um but uh now it's gone I, i'm guessing they did a purge or something, but I, somebody was asking about it recently and I went to go find the link to it and it's just not there. So, um, I don't know. Like I, I kind of, I, I, it's not that I want to stay stuck on that movie or anything, but it's like, I want to make it available if people want to see it. Now that I've got a bit of a following, people are always asking about it. And it's just kind of like, I got, I streamed it that one time on YouTube and I've got that, that, uh, unlisted link to the live stream of it back when I think it was uh, the 50,000 subscriber celebration. I think that's what I did to uh, celebrate 50,000. Um, so that's the only place that it exists. And again, it's just so low res. So I'm, I'm thinking about looking into that AI upscaling thing. Um, I found a couple of resources, but uh, I don't really even know where to start. And I'll be honest, if somebody were to want to help me out with that, I would not keep you from doing so sorry i got a tick but anyway that's it for now um if you can make it on saturday and you want to watch i mean obviously it'll stay up so um if you if you can't be there and you want to watch it later that's cool um i hope it's fun for everybody else i don't want it to be just you know masturbation on my part um but that's it i just wanted to like put this out there to let everybody know about it um i'll put the link to the live stream link in the description if you want to go kind of save it and be ready for it but yeah it's going to be um saturday night this coming saturday so it'll be the 31st um and uh if you can be there great so that's it that's what i got going on this week and i guess i will fill you in uh when i do this again next time so hope you all are doing well um have a good one love you guys take care